During static tests with Robinson coupled rockets, we notice that as we approach the air pulse, some water ends up being pushed up the sides of the bottle. Um, we wanted to try and find out if this actually happens during acceleration of an actual launch. So here are some experiments that have done that. Not only does this water not contribute to thrust, it is an added weight that needs to be accelerated during the air pulse. This makes the rocket a little less efficient. The test rocket is our regular Axion rocket, with a camera mounted on a boom looking back at the lowest bottle and nozzle. Flight 1 didn't quite go according to plan, but the in-flight video was good. Here's the onboard video shown in real time. And here comes the recovery crew. Here you can clearly see the water being pushed up the sides. After replacing the damaged nose cone, we flew the rocket again. Here you can see some of the water draining from the rocket on the way down. The telltales attached to the fin give us a clue about what the airflow is doing in that area. You can see the instant the rocket starts falling backwards after reaching apogee. 